and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. We're in glorious sunny Blackpool and we are at Waterloo Road. This is Waterloo Road here at the back of Melok. I'm on the promenade currently and we're going to go and visit the greatest, best value attraction that Blackpool South has probably got to offer. And when I say the best value, that's because entry is just by donation. So if you just pop a pound or so into the bucket, you can go into this toy museum for a very reasonable, reasonable price when Brooks Collectibles is open. So there's two ways into it, through the rock shop on the promenade next to McDonald's or through the Brooks Collectibles shop. So we're going to go that way because the Brooks Collectibles shop is also very interesting as well. We've been in here before, but it's quite a long time ago. So I thought we'd, we'd give it a revisit. And of course it's next to the site where the old Woolworths used to be, the, the Hearts Christmas shop, which is here, that's been demolished. So we'll, we'll go and have a look at that next. Get your notifications on and then you'll know when all these new videos are uploaded. Right, let's go and have a look, shall we? Where's the prom, prom, prom? 10th of October I'm filming this and it's absolutely glorious. It's four o'clock and I kid you not, it's like a summer's day. It's beautiful. So this is the rock shop here. So you can go in through that way and, and through the back. And this is Brooks Collectibles here next door to Notoriani's ice cream. I'm going to be really strong and I'm going to avoid going in Notoriani's. I must say I'm gasping for an ice cream but I'm going to be really strong and I'm going to walk straight past. How about that for self-control? In fact, I saw somebody last time I was down here and they got a little ice cream. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. I said, I'd be more inclined to buy one if they, were, if they did tiny ones. <laughs> so this is Brooks Collectibles. So this shop is a treasure trove. A treasure trove of all things from your childhood and probably your parents as well. So there's all kinds of collectibles. The light's bouncing on the glass, I'll take you in and you can have a look. There's all kinds of collectibles, there's all kinds of antiques and things inside as well. Look at, um, oh go on, what's it called? Chucky, Chucky, weren't it? So they also as well buy old toys. So anything collectible, Masters of the Universe, um, Battlestar Galactica, anything like that, they will buy from you and sell in the shop. So here we go. So inside these glass display cases, there's all kinds of collectible stuff like this. And you can understand why it's all, why it's all locked up. That's nice, look at that little Mickey Mouse and Noddy. Oh, aren't they lovely? I love that Noddy. That's obviously an original. Could you need you need to come in and look in the in the cupboards? Here he is. Look, he's, he's the man. I Hello, can see man. him through the cupboard. Yeah. I can see him through when the cupboard. Hello, Mark. Antique things in here. You weren't I did not me, mean you. Well, I did not mean you. How the devil are you? I'm very well. I haven't seen you for a little while. I know. Oh, you, you, I think I missed you last time, didn't I? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, this is Mark. Nice. This is the owner. Um, so you're the man who's got the encyclopedic knowledge about toys, aren't you? Uh, I was going to say the encyclopedic knowledge of midlife crises. <laughs> I think we've all got yeah. one of them. Yeah. Well, um, people people call me a toy expert, but I'm learning every day is a school day. We're all learning. Yeah, that's the thing. There's always something that comes along that I've never seen before, and that's yeah. the thrill of the chase. That's the thrill of the chase. You see, I bring my dad in here, and he walks around saying, "I used to have one of them. I used to have one of them." Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go in. shopkeeper's trick to remind people. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a look at your emporium. You're very welcome. I will do. Micronauts. Goodness me, if you've got any micronauts, you've got some money in your loft. I've never even heard of them. I am made in truck. 95 quid. You see, all the, these toys that, that we've all got, that we all played with, they're all worth money. So if you've got anything lurking, 
get digging it out and get bringing it to to, to Brooks. And if if people are not, oh, it's gone over there. I was just going to say, if people are not in Blackpool, I'm fairly sure that you'll be able to send photographs and things to him. And he'll have a look at him and see whether or not they're worth any money and whether or not he wants to buy them. So this is the collectible side of the shop. There you go, look. Action figures one to 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. I bet you've all got something similar. Corgi toys. So Mark, if people have got things like this yes. and they're interested in you taking a look at it to buy it yes. and they don't live in Blackpool, can they send you something on Messenger? So the way we work is I ask people to send me pictures either through Facebook Messenger or right. email, email or WhatsApp and then what I tend to do is give them advice. So rather than saying I'll give you this yeah, much for okay. them, I would say... Um, look at this and do a price comparison and see if it's better if you sell it yourself. Right, okay. Oh, that's good. Get an auction estimate yeah. and then come to me and get a cash price and decide what's which, best for Which you. is best, right. Because really sometimes am. it's easier uh, for us to buy them. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to make more at auction and yeah. other times it can be quite good fun doing a little bit of selling yourself yeah. and then when you get fed up then bring the rest then, to us. Yeah, when you've gone through yeah. the first ten yeah. and decided you've lost the will to live. Well, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> On eBay. Other, other way, it gets, it gets addictive. Well, I would stay away from Evil yeah. Bay at the minute. Evil Bay. <laughs> Evil Bay, yeah. Because things aren't really selling on there. Yeah, right. Okay. It's very slow. And auction at the moment, and with toys, go to a toy auction. Don't stick them in a general auction. Yeah. And I will recommend auctions that you can look at. Yeah. But if you stick them in a general auction, if it's worth 10 quid, you might get five quid for it. Yeah. If you stick it in a toy auction, you're going to get closer to You're going to get quid. a toy price. Yeah. Right, brilliant. There you go, free advice. There you go. Free advice from the Encyclopedic Encyclopedia. Yes. And if collectibles are not your thing, there's a fabulous gift shop as well. It's worth coming in here just for a browse and a mosey around. They've got all kinds of stuff in here. You can have your uh, super duper Halloween costume. You can have Blackpool memorabilia. You can have Betty Boo. Betty Boo. Oh, goodness me. She looks like I feel. <laughs> she looks like I feel, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> She's me on a bad day. Yes. I could still titter at the thought of that film. It was very good, weren't it? Chucky. Yeah, I know. They're so popular. It's unbelievable. Yeah, well, there you go. You see, we've all got that Chucky tendency in us. <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. Darth Vader, even I know that. All kinds of, of, of things to buy and of course things to look at as well. So this is the vintage puppet show. That's amazing, isn't it? Originally from Blackpool and it's the Pelham Puppet Theatre. Wow. Goodness me. Entertain families in the 1960s. That looks like the stick. Oh, waving Chinese cats. Are they supposed to be good luck? Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> are you answering me? <laughs> I thought I'd let you know. Yeah, thank you. Um, Christmas, Christmas characters for your Christmas scenes. Absolutely, that's very good advice that. Live well, laugh often and love much. And now we're going to go, ooh, rubber ducks. Oh, the rabbit one. Look, it's me. It's Jane Rabbit. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to go and look at the toy museum. So there's all the, all the gifts and products and perfumes and... Um, oh, fans, do you know, you would not believe I looked everywhere for one of them this summer. It's all here. Now we know where to get one. If you want a fan, there's your fans, they're on the counter. Now we know where to buy one. Fridge magnets. And some shawls and scarves and whatnot. 
and then upstairs. Gates open if you want to go up. Yes, thank you. If anyone does come in and the gates close like that, but it says open, come and ask me. They're always welcome to go up. Right. But okay. we we'll just put the gate on just to stop kids going just to, to trash yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, okay. okay. Pre-opened it for you. So you can Marvelous. See you thank you. Thank you ever so much. Right. So we're going to go and have a look. So this is your bucket to put a donation in. So this is this is a treasure trove of memories from the past. Not just toys, but also things to do with Blackpool and the Blackpool area as well. Did you know that saucy seaside postcards were banned? And there was actually a, a, sea, a saucy postcard sensor, that's not easy to say, who used to decide and make, make a call on whether or not, whether or not things were too risque for people to actually be able to see. So this is a brilliant look back into your, into your past and your childhood. Um, and as I said, it's not really a place for kids to run around unattended, as, as Mark said when we came upstairs. So this is all his personal collection of vintage, vintage and old toys and things. So there's loads of cars and buses. So I'm sure all the car enthusiasts will enjoy looking at that. There's all the old war toys, dinky, dinky tanks and stuff. What a collection. It's amazing. Old envelopes and posters, helicopters. And it goes right round the back. Right round there, we'll take a walk round and, and go and have a look. Farm animals and toys, I used to have these. I loved my farm. Britain's, Britain's farm toys were mine. Loads of cars, a Dalek, we were like it. Soldiers. Will you marry me with your musket, fife and drum? Star Wars, helmets, and I know that that's the Millennium Falcon because like we'll make one in it. <laughs> it's very expensive if you buy a Lego one, would you imagine these are even more expensive. This is one of two models built by us. This one is painted to look like the screen prop. The other has been left unpainted and is still a work in progress. Three years to build and paint. Wow, that's amazing. So that's how that's how they used to do special effects. They'd make a small model, paint it to look lifelike, and then that would become the thing that they used for the film. This is more getting into my getting into my realm. We've got some Lego in there. Look, look at these little original boxes. Unfortunately, I've not got any original boxes. I've got plenty of old Lego, but I've not got any original boxes. And then there's a model of Blackpool Seafront and the, the headland and all the trams and everything. And this is the old baths, the open air baths at South Shore. And I remember that as clear as a bell. We'll look at that from the other side because we I think we're at the back here. We're at the back. Trams, Blackpool trams, full collection of models. More boats and soldiers. And... There's a nice collection of camera memorabilia. So anybody like my senior tea boy when he came in here, he sort of went all the way through and said, oh, I had one of them, I had one of them, my dad had one of them. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a, an old woman, so I remember using these films. This is, any, any kids watching, this is in the days before the iPhone that we all carry about in our pocket. There's a full selection of Blackpool Transport uniform, uniforms up there. A couple of old phones, look. And who remembers these? Who remembers these phones? So you lifted the receiver 
And then you went like that with the numbers. I liked these phones. I think these are proper phones. They're lovely. Radio control panel and an old record player. Wow. And this is interesting as well. This is an old map of Blackpool. So you need a good 10 minutes just to look at this. So this is Rakes Hall, which is now no longer. This is around the area where Blackpool Sixth Form camp um, University campus is in central Blackpool. This is the old railway station where all the, the shunting lines came in. This is Blackpool North. This is Blackpool Central. So round about here is Coral Island. And then these are the old lines that came into Blackpool and this is now Eden Way. It's really interesting that. That's a proper original map, that. Map of Blackpool. Oh, there's a property of Paul Greenwood um, from a firm of architects. So I wonder how old that is then. There's no date on it, is there? It's got to be, well, old. It's got to be 100 years old. And then there's some more toys. There's all kinds of stuff in here. And then I noticed something. I noticed something down here that I used to have. Pippa. I mean, obviously, these are Mark's stuff and he was a boy. Um, so there's not many girls' toys, but I had, I definitely had a Pippa. And there was a toy shop on um, Abingdon Street. And I remember this distinctly going in there one year and, and my dad buying me a paper doll. My dad used to trail me around all the, all the toy shops. And in here, there is a full model train set. And he set me some, set me some things going, look. So these are all electrically controlled from underneath, aren't they lovely? Isn't that clever? It's a little train coming round, look. It's a proper, it's a proper look into model making and the olden days. Look at this circus, isn't that lovely? My dad started building a model train set and uh, as T-Boy does, he got so far and he packed it in, but he, he made quite a few models and they were very good, I have to say. That's lovely. Pictures, post boxes, die-cast phone boxes. Huh. Amazing. And then a little bit of a, a workbench where he does all his work. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is an old BBC computer just noticed it and I am that old <laughs> that when when I went to school when I was in the fourth and fifth year at school we did computer lessons on this and you had to program it in basic and I did not understand it at all there were some some boys in our class who were good at maths and they they knew what they were doing they knew what they were doing and they could make things move but this is how it worked look in little little squares like that so you didn't get a picture, you got little squares on the monitor. Bye, that's a blast from the past. That's an old football bolt. Goodness me. So there you go. So for a donation into the pot, you can spend a cheerful hour or two wandering around in here, reading everything and looking at everything. Oh, this is the model of the bath look. Amazing. I remember that. It's clear as a bell. It's catching the reflection on the ceiling. Clear as a bell. So all the changing rooms were underneath here and they were all gloomy and dark and cold. And then they used to do Miss World competitions and entertainment and things and all the spectators used to sit on these seats around here. <laughs> that takes me back. Oh, that's me. 
Amazing. Amazing. So there you go. That's that's the um, Brooks Collectibles gift shop. There's all the the souvenirs and gifts and sweets and stuff at the front of here as well. I remember having dolls like this when I used to come to Blackpool as a kid. Definitely worth a visit. Definitely need to pop in while you're at this end of town. And just imagine living up there. There's one for sale here, look. I think we might have to have a look at that online. I could write fancy living on that corner. I bet it's fascinating. You don't need a telly. I'm just sit looking out of the window all day long. And there you go. And that's that corner. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed. This is the joke shop from um, the side of Central Car Park the one that they've uh, closed for the redevelopment. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. hope you've enjoyed having a look around and uh, a bit of a blast from the past and, and all that kind of stuff. And until next time, we will see you later. She says, avoiding the ice cream shop. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>